occasionally weep deeply over the life that you hoped would be, grieve the losses, feel the pain, then wash your face, trust God, and embrace the life that he's given you. And the reason for that counsel is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, where Paul says, I don't want you to be ignorant about those who have fallen asleep, those who have died, that you may not grieve as those who have no hope. So there's real grieving, which he expects, and there's hope. So grieving is real, losses are real, pain is real, really felt, really expressed, and hope is real that changes it profoundly. And I have in mind two two kinds of losses, those who had something precious and lost it, and those who hoped for something precious and never had it. And it works both ways. Sixty years go by. And 40 years on, you think, I've come to terms with that. And then one morning it breaks over you. And you weep about a 40-year-old loss or a 40-year never have. And my counsel is, yes, go ahead, embrace that moment. Weep. But then say to your weeping after a season, no. No. You will not define me, sorrow, because my God has said, no good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. And therefore, even though it was good in one sense, and I miss it in one sense, I trust my God, and he has not withheld anything that is good for me. So yes, let there be weeping in those seasons, feel the losses, then wash your face, trust God, and embrace the life he's given you.